This facility opened in January of 2010, so we're about a year and a half old. My name is Melissa Tribaum. I am the chief operator for many of the simulations that occur in the sim lab. The sim lab is a place, there are six rooms where students can come depending on what level they are in their education and they come and they practice not just skills but critical thinking and as each semester progresses they are presented with more difficult cases until senior semester where they're presented with some very accurate cases as to what would happen in a hospital and it's our way of creating an environment that they wouldn't necessarily see on their clinical experience in the hospitals. <coughs> When I Simone Jones is our pediatric patient. Do you know when my mom is going to be here? She is an eight-year-old patient with cystic fibrosis. She was obviously born with it. She has a difficult family situation in that they can't afford medications. The mother smokes. Father is unemployed. And so we introduce those psychosocial issues as well as the medical issues that the students have to learn to deal with. I can change how fast she blinks. We sit behind the screen or behind a two-sided um, mirror and we control her from there. So we can drop her oxygen saturation, we can change blood pressure, pulse rate, all that good stuff. And we are also the voice of the patients. Can you tell my mommy to come now? Why are you here? What are you going to do to me? Why are you here? Are you going to stick me with a needle like that last nurse? We can let them handle very critical situations. We can let them administer medications that they wouldn't be able to give until they get out of school. And they just have to critically think about what's best for their patient. And studies have shown that it does increase their NCLEX pass rate and their success as a new nurse on the floor.